Hello crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. And today I wanted to get into my personal journal and do a little bit of journaling. And this is the journal from when we went on vacation to Hawaii. So I have all of my things here and I already have an idea of what I want to um, journal about and that is about Arlo and I's song. So every single night that I put her to bed, her and I sing this special song and this is just a picture of her and I when we were actually in Hawaii. She was totally falling asleep on me but we were singing our song and she was just singing it by herself and it's so sweet. And the song that is our song is by Lo Beeston and she's actually a YouTuber amongst other things but uh, she so kindly said that I could include her song in my video because that's what this uh, layout's about. I also wrote down all of the lyrics on here already. Um, I have a few things here that I want to incorporate that are kind of special to me, but I wanna start by covering this page with some fabric. And I have these fabrics right here, but then I also remembered that I have these doilies and I was kind of thinking that might be really pretty to use. Uh, I'm really leaning towards the blue. I think I might want to just go with this. I'm so wanting to use these fabrics I got from Craft Warehouse, but for some reason it just, it doesn't feel quite like what I'm going for today. So I think I'll actually go ahead and just do the fabric doily on just one side so that it's not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this on. I guess this is the way that it really goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna add glue all over. These doilies are so cute. They're actually from Amazon, so they are not actually vintage, but that's okay. I've been uh, planning to do this layout for, gosh, a couple months because I messaged Low Beeston, yeah, like a couple months ago, and I thought I would be filming it then, but I have just been so busy, you guys. Like, Patreon stuff is keeping me real busy, and I like it because it's like, I like to have regular stuff to do. It's, it's just good for my anxiety and everything, but it's crazy. I just realized, when I re just realized how much time has passed since I planned this page. Okay. Of course, as usual for, usual for me, this is not perfect, but we're not going for perfect. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna maybe put some pictures on this side. So over here, like I'm saying, I will just use, I guess, a couple doilies. I just want some kind of color back here, over here, but not too much. I think I'm gonna try the milled lavender, but it is quite light, and so we'll see. There's probably brown on this as well, so we'll just see. I have the broken china as well, so I think that will yeah, I like this color, but it's just really light. Actually, I guess that might be working. So I like using paper doilies um, as a stencil, but you just have to be careful to, like I'm pressing hard, but I'm going like, I'm brushing down and up. I'm so just, yeah, like I just did. So basically try not to go back and forth, just go one direction. And it can be hard for me to do that because I keep wanting to go back. And I guess to make this page over here kind of match, I'm gonna take the ink and just go on the top over here. And I'm even getting it kind of on the top of the fabric and that's okay with me if it gets on the fabric a bit too. Okay. Oh yeah, that actually worked way better than I thought. And so I just kind of do a few areas with the doily so you'll see I'll just place it where I want to start and then I just kind of go down the page and then I can save this doily and use it as well okay I think what I'm gonna do on this page I will have something towards the bottom maybe that's what I'm thinking so I don't really need to go all the way down or anything 
but just in case, let's go down a little bit more. Go. Strings here. Okay, I think that should be good. I actually really like how that looks. Okay. So I also have this little muslin bag that um, some of Arlo's Play-Doh came in. Um, that, by the way, this um, shop right here is amazing for Play-Doh. It's a mom who makes like, I guess, handmade play-doh i'm not sure how you would say that anyways um it's it's amazing guys like the best play-doh it lasts forever you can like wash it you can do all these things so anyways i want to we're not using this bag anymore so i want to use this little muslin piece somewhere on this layout and i'm actually going to paint it in with these three colors now that i'm thinking do they really go with this but i'm going to go for it because that's what i had already grabbed so i'm just going to open it and just take the slightest amount and just kind of color in this rainbow i'll try to stay in frame but i'm gonna be watching here to make sure that i don't go out of the lines for and the um paintbrush that i'm using is like completely dry So I should probably have found a different one, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna finish painting this so that I can just like let it dry to the side and figure out where I want it to go. Okay, I actually changed the colors up and I did add a blue. And I, I feel like I know that this color combo is maybe kind of odd, but it was just it's just what I'm feeling. <laughs> it's just what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to cut this out. Like I said, I just, I like to include like things that are mementos <laughs> into my spreads. So like I, this doesn't exactly have anything to do with this layout or like our song, but she took this Play-Doh, um, or I took this Play-Doh, um, to Hawaii as like a little surprise. And so I guess it kind of does have something to do with it. And the fact that it's just like kind of fun to have like brand names or like, I don't know, those kind of real life things that you can look back on later. And um, I don't know, does that even make sense? Okay, so this is, let's stick to what's important to get into the spread and then I can like add more. That's kind of how I like to go about it. So I know like I want the photos, I know I want this and the rainbow, so. I'm thinking that I can glue, so like this is a flip up, but it's blank back here. And I'm thinking that I could glue this on as like a belly band. So put glue over here and over here, and then I can put something, um, you know, into it kind of like a pocket. And I'm just deciding if I want to have it all the way down or yeah, more like a belly band. Okay, so I'm thinking of using this postcard as well because I want to add something on the back. I'm not sure if it will be journaling or maybe another picture. So I'm just going to see what that would look like if it was in the middle. I like that. Or we could do down here. Oh, if we did it down here, more like a pocket, then I would have space up here. And maybe I could like put this somewhere. I think I'll go with that option. And so, like I said, I'm gonna add, I'll add some glue here on the very edge. And here, I'll just put it on the page so I know where the edge is. And it is gonna stick out a little bit of the page, but honestly, I think it's fine and it will be sort of like a tab, I guess. So. I'm actually gonna place this here so that when I tape, or sorry, when I glue it down, I kind of feel like it allows for the bulk that's going to be in it. So then I'll just press that down and luckily, I could have put some glue on the bottom here too. I didn't think to do that, but I can add it if I need, if I'm finding that it's like coming up or something, but I'm sure it'll be fine because this glue is amazing. Okay, let's head over to this page. Okay, so I definitely want this because 
when we were in Hawaii and we were, this is when this song really became our song. And this was one of the nights where she first sang it and knew all the words. And I had no idea that she actually knew all of the words. Um, anyways, I'm thinking of adding, like, I kind of want another picture of her and I, but I feel like this doesn't exactly have to do with the point of the layout again, but I still want to include it because it is about her and I. So now I need to figure out how I want to add the picture. I'm going to trim the white off. And by the way, I print my pictures at home on my Canon selfie, if you're curious. And I recently got them printed at like, was it Walgreens? I can't remember. Thinking that it's, it must be better quality since it's not at home and it was awful. So I have continued and decided to continue uh, printing my pictures at home. yellow will look good and kind of lighten it up so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just glue the picture right down actually you know what <laughs> I will first take some a little bit of this right here why can't I ever think of what this is called just like a little piece on one side and I think I'll put it on this left, no, the right side, where there is no um, doily. Just for a little added texture and softness, I guess. <laughs> Trying to keep it on there. And then just a little bit of a border. And then I'll just trim around that. And I, I normally tear because I like the texture, but I think I'm just gonna cut this one. Go ahead and place that down here. Now I feel like it's coming together. So we have this here. I forgot about the little rainbow. I mean, maybe it's not gonna work actually. I think I like it right there. So that's what we'll do. We'll just glue it on down right above yes 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 now i have lots of little embellishments and things like butterflies and stuff i i do feel like there's a lot going on here i mean this whole journaling card is full of butterflies but if, and this is butterflies so i need to press that down a little bit more we're probably fine although you know what i okay i'm gonna do that i'm gonna put it up here I definitely feel like I'm going a little bit overboard, but I sort of like how the doily in the background over here, or handkerchief, whatever it is, kind of ends up sort of blending into the background and it's not like the main focus. Okay. Okay, so am I done? I think I am. Um, there was one last thing that a few minutes ago I had seen and I was thinking I might want to put in. That's right. It was a picture. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys. I forgot that I was going to put this pic this uh, flower over here. But I think I like the butterfly. Whoops. 
Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep that. Need a little extra glue over here though. Okay. My last thought was to include a picture of Hawaii just because it's like so, like one of these pictures, they're just so light and airy and such just a happy, I just get happy looking at it. But I'm not exactly sure where I would put it. Like I mentioned, I want to put this picture of Arlo and I on the back here, so that will not really be showing. I'll go ahead and do that, and I think I'll leave some space um, in case I want to go ahead and journal. I'll just kind of cover up that part, and I can do, I'll probably will do a little bit of journaling down there. Because this journaling is just the song lyrics. It doesn't like talk about this song, so I'll definitely do journaling on the back there. The only other thing I can think of is like placing it over that. But I sort of like the word dream because I feel like we're always singing it right before bed and that makes sense sort of thing. Oh, but gosh, like I should have put it down here maybe. <laughs> maybe I can just tuck it in and having it peek out. Is that too much? I sort of think I like that. That's what I'll do. Ooh, sorry, one last thing. I, I, well, never mind. I have these clear pockets adhesive. I could put it here and then you can still see everything, but you could place this, like I could place it down in there and then when you, I might need to grab one. <laughs> okay, well that was really bright. So this is what the clear pockets look like. You know, it's just a clear adhesive pocket. And so I think I will. I think I just like how that looks, but see, you can still see everything. There we go. I like that. And if I wanted, I could even, you know, include two pictures back here. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm going to give you some close ups of the page and include some of the song. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Like an old